Hello everyone, welcome to Career Tricks YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about divisibility trick for 1 to 15. If you are visiting first time to my channel, please click on subscribe button. For more notification, click on bell icon. In this video, we are going to cover almost divisibility rule for 1 to 15. If you want to mastering in divisibility trick, then watch till the end of this video definitely will become a mastering in divisibility rule of 1 to 15. Now we will solve the first problem. What is the divisibility rule for 1? That is every number is divisible by 1. If you take any number, if you take 128, this will be divisible by 1. If you take 145, this will be divisible by 1. Like this, if you take any number that will be divisible by 1, the divisibility rule for 2. In divisibility rule 2, last digit should be even. If you take any number, this number last digit, unit digit is even, then that will be divisible by 2. Here last unit digit is odd. This is not divisible by 2. This is a simple thing. We have to check the unit digit. If it is even, then we can say that it is divisible by 2 or otherwise we will say that it is not divisible by 2. Next. We done with 1 and 2. Next we are going with the third. Divisibility rule for 3. What is the divisibility rule for 3? Sum of digits should be di divisible by 3. For example, here digits, you check how many digits are there. 6 digits are there. We will add these 6 digits. That is 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 7 plus 9 plus 4. What is the answer we will get? That is 10, 20, 29, 33. 33 is divisible by 3? Yes, 3 ones are, 3 elevens are. Then definitely this number also will be divisible by 3. Here we have to check that if the answer is 0 or any multiple of 3, that will be the answer. Then we can say that that number will be divisible by 3. Except that if you have any other answers, that number is not divisible by 3. Similar way we will solve this for divisible by 3. Now, what is the answer we get? 1 plus 9, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 6, 21, 21 plus 3, 24. 24, 24 is divisible by 3. Yes, it is divisible by 3. 3 is a 24. Then definitely this number also will be divisible by 3. This is about 1, 2, 3 divisibility rule. Next, we will go with the divisibility rule for 4. In divisibility rule for 4, what we have to check? Last two digits should be divisible by 4. This is the sequence. This is the number we are taking. In this number, last two digit is 84. 84 is divisible by 4. Yes, it is. 84 is divisible by 4. That is 4. 2s are 4 1s are 4 21s are 84. Then definitely this number also will be divisible by 4. Then we'll check with this. There are 6 digits are the last two digits we'll check. That is 16. 16, 16 is divisible by 4. Yes, 4 1s are 4 4s are. Then definitely this number also will be divisible by 4. If the last two, two digits is not divisible by 4, then it is not divisible by 4. If it is divisible by 4, then it will be divisible by 4 for the entire number okay this is the divisibility rule for 4 next divisibility rule for 5 it is very easy if you take any number 100,000 or 10,000 1 lakh any number unit digit is 0 yes it is divisible by 5 or 105 is divisible by 5 yes unit digit is 5 it is divisible by 5 one zero 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 five is divisible by 5 yes it is unit digit is 5 it is divisible by 5 one seven eight nine five is divisible by five. Yes, unit digit is five. It is divisible by five. We have to remember one thing that is last digit unit digit should be zero or five. Then it will be divisible by five. Next, we are going with divisibility rule for six. In six, we have to satisfy both two and three. Divisibility rule of two and three if satisfies to this number, then it will be divisible by 6. Check it out now. What is the divisibility rule of 2? Two? 2 we have to check the unit digit is even. 
yes this unit digit is even then first rule the two divisibility two rule is satisfied next what is the three rule we have to add all these numbers okay 1 plus 9 10 20 29 33 33 is divisible by 3 yes then both the conditions are applicable here 2 and 3 are satisfied for this number then definitely this number is divisible by 6 again here also we have to check what all the two things we have to check divisibility rule 2 and divisibility rule 3 we have to check for this unit digit is 2 then divisibility rule 2 is satisfied then sum of these numbers what you'll get that is 1 plus 9 10 10 plus 11 21 21 plus 6 27 27 is divisible by 3 yes 3 ones are 3 nines are then divisibility rule 3 also satisfies if both are satisfied then we can say that divisibility of rule of 6 also will satisfy for this number okay you have to remember that when you are solving for divisibility rule for 6 2 divisibility rule for 2 and divisibility rule for 3 will be satisfied then we can directly say that divisibility rule for 6 will be satisfies next we are going with the divisibility rule for 7 divisibility rule for 7 already i did one video there are three methods are there all the three methods are explained in that video please go through with this video that will be the link will be available in the top right corner or in the description it is available you click on that and you watch that video for 7 i will briefly i will explain here for divisibility rule of 7 that is first method we are using the pattern that is minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like this we will use pattern and we will solve second method we are multiplying with 2 to the unit digit and whatever the answer you get of multiplication that will be subtracted from the remaining digits third method is unit digit is multiplied with 5 and whatever the answer will get that answer we will add to the remaining digits uh, you go through with that video link uh, you'll get to know how easy uh, the divisibility rule for 7 next we are going with divisibility rule for 8 last three digits should be divisible by 8 means here this is the number last three digits means 016 if it is divisible by 8 definitely this entire number will be divisible by 8 0, 1, 6 is divisible by 8, s yes, 8 1s are 8 2s are, then definitely this number will be divisible by 8. Again we are checking here one more number, last 3 digit is 8, 4, 8, divisible by 8, yes 8 1s are, 8 1s are, 8 6s are, that is 1, 0, 6. This 8, 4, 8 is divisible by 8, then definitely this number will be divisible by 8. Next, a divisibility rule for 9, sum of digits should be div divisible by 9. Whatever the, the same thing, whatever we use for 3, the same approach we are do using for here also, we have to add all the digits. What is the digits are there? That is 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 1 plus 6. Here, 13, 13 plus 7, 20, 27 will get answer, 27 divided by 3, 27 divided by 9, 9 ones are 9 threes are, it is, this number is divisible by 9, then definitely this number also will be divisible by 9. Here what all the answers will get, if you get 0 or any multiples of 9 you will get, then the that number will be divisible by 9. If you will not get uh, 0 or any multiples of 9, then that number is not divisible by 9. We will solve the second problem. Add all the digits, that is 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 7, 11, 11 plus 3, 14, 14 plus 8, 22, 22 plus 5, that is 27. 27 is divisible by 9, yes, then this number also will be divisible by 9. This is the divisibility rule for 9. Next we are going with divisibility rule for 10. Whatever the number you take, if the unit digit is 0, then it will be divisible by 10. If you take any number, unit digit is 0, then it is divisible by 10. Except 0, if you have any other number, then it is not divisible by 10. Next we are going with divisibility rule for 11. 
11 we are having two methods that is explained in the another video you watch that video there are two methods are there if you want to watch that video please click on the link whatever the right top link is there or otherwise in the description one more link i gave if you want to watch that video click on that and you watch that you will get to know how exactly we are going to use these methods for divisibility rule for laven here i will let you know two methods what what are the two methods one is method one is pattern we are taking pattern we are taking that is minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one plus one this is the pattern the second one is the sum of the digits of the odd place for example if i am taking one eight nine six here these two are odd place we will add these two and we will add these two what are the even place numbers are there after adding these two i will get 10 after adding these two i will get 14 i will subtract by 14 then what is the answer we get minus 4 will get minus i will neglect 4 is not divisible by 11 then this number is not divisible by 11 if you take one more example that is 1331 uh, if i am going with first and this digit that time what will get adding those two 4 will get adding these two 4 will get what is the answer 4 minus 4 is 0 then this number will be divisible by 11 because the answer is 0 0 or 11 any multiples of 11 will be there means in the answer then we can say that that number will be divisible by 11 okay you go through with that video you will have uh, some more examples in that that will be helpful for you next we are going to divisibility rule for 12 here it has to satisfy 3 and 4 divisibility rule then the 12 will be divisible rule will be applied for this number here, here we have to check what is the 3 rule we have to add all the numbers 7 plus 9 is 16 16 plus 0 is 16 only 16 plus 1 is 16 plus 1 is 17 17 plus 8 is 25 25 plus 8 is 33 33 is divided divide by 3 yes then the divisibility rule of 3 is satisfies next we are checking for 4 4 last two digits we are checking 88 is there this will be divisible by 4 then 4 also satisfies then this number will be divisible by 12 similar way we will check it with this what is the sum of these digits that is 7 plus 3 10 10 18 18 plus 9 27 27 plus 6 33 okay divided by 3 that is 11 it is divisible then 3 rule is satisfied again we are checking with the 4 rule that last two digits is divisible by 4 yes it is divisible by 4 then 4 rule also satisfies definitely this number is divisible by 12 next we are going with the uh, divisibility rule for 13 here also we are having two methods i have one, one more video for that already i uploaded that video go through with that video you will get to know how the 13 rule will be applied for divisibility you will get to know the link will be available in the right corner top and also it will be available in the description below description here method one what is the method one we are taking method one pattern is plus one plus four plus three minus one minus four minus three is the pattern we are taking and we are going to solve that problem second one is a unit digit is multiplied by four and the multiplication answer will be added to the remaining digits these two methods we are going to use you go through that video you will get to know exactly how we are going to use uh, divisibility rule for 13 next divisibility rule for 14 14 we have to satisfy two things 7 and 2 you know what is 7 rule and what is 2 rule we have to implement it in this okay 2 rule is unit digit is 8 that is even then 2 rule is satisfied next 7 rule what is 7 rule for 7 rule we will apply the pattern method that is minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 minus 2 i will multiply these two terms that time what will get minus 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 minus 16 here if i add these terms uh, 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 5 minus 5 is cancel here minus 16 plus 2 is minus 14 will get minus will neglect and 14 is divisible by 7 yes for 7 ones are 7 twos are then 
definitely this number is divisible by 14 because the it satisfies both the conditions that is divisibility rule of 2 and divisibility rule of 7 it is satisfies then this will be divisible by 14. Same thing will apply for this now that is a 7 rule I will apply first that is first I will check with the unit digit unit digit is even then the 2 rule is satisfied next we are checking with the 7 rule 7 rule that is pattern I am applying for this that is minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 minus 2 minus 3 after multiplying this minus 9 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 4 into 1 is 4 8 2 is a minus 16 8 minus 3 is minus 24 after substituting uh, what is the answer you get that is here minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5 minus 5 plus 6 is 1 1 plus 4 is 5 5 minus 16 plus 5 is minus 11 minus 11 plus minus 11 minus 24 is minus 35 minus 35 is divisible by 7 yes you neglect this minus sign 7 ones are 7 fives are then definitely this number is divisible by 14 because 2 and 7 both the rules are satisfied divisibility rules are satisfied in this then 14 divisibility rule for 14 will be satisfy this number next we are going for divisibility rule for 15 here we have to satisfy both 3 and 5 divisibility rule what is the 3 rule we have to add all the digits that is 7 plus 7 plus 7 21 plus 3 24 24 is divisible by 3 yes then divisibility rule 3 is satisfied then we are checking with the unit digit 0 is there then divisibility rule 5 also satisfied next we are going with a second problem here we first we are checking with the divisibility rule of 3 now that is 5 plus 3 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 12 plus 7 is 19 19 plus 5 is 24 24 is divisible by 3 yes then definitely divisibility rule 3 will be satisfied next we are checking with the unit digit 5 is there then divisibility rule of 5 also satisfied both 3 and 5 are satisfied then we can say that 15 also satisfy for this number the divisibility rule of 15 also satisfy this number this is a one of the easiest trick uh, from divisibility rule from 1 to 15 you go through with this thoroughly practice other problems to be uh, mastering in this 1 to 15 divisibility rule thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on like and subscribe button for more notification, please click on bell icon. Thank you.